Hello. In this session, we will look at how we can uh, declare the null resources and then also we'll see an example as to uh, how we can make use of the null resources whenever we want to do something without creating any resources using Terraform. So in the last session, we looked at an introduction to null resources. So we know that whenever we define a null resource, Terraform will not create any resources. So basically, it will not do anything. However, if you still want to uh, uh, do some actions like execute some scripts or execute some commands or you know have it in our output blocks without creating any resources we can make use of your null resources for that before we start off with that please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so let's get started with this so how do you declare your uh, null resource block so to create your null resource block you will be creating a resource block something like this all right so here like how we create the resource block for all other resources for example the aws underscore instance so we will be creating a resource block however the resource type would be null resource in this case all right so what this will do is this will tell terraform that though we have declared a resource block uh, terraform should not be creating any resource for this and if you have defined any actions like in this case i have defined the local exec provisioner uh, terraform will just execute those actions without creating any resources for that so here i've used the local exec provisioner and then some example command that needs to be executed so like this you can define multiple resource blocks depending on your requirement now let's see an example for this so here i have the code that uh, we will be using for this example now if you look at this main.tf file so this is where we have defined our null resource so here in this example uh, for this particular code i have defined three resource blocks so this is one resource block this is the second resource block and this is the third resource block now for the first resource block aws will launch an aws underscore instance resource however for the second and third resource block because we have used the null underscore resource terraform will not create any resource for that however terraform will still uh, apply the terraform the the resource life cycle it will it will show that it is creating a resource however it will not do anything or it will not create any resource on the cloud platform on aws in this case uh, but if you have defined any actions within that resource block terraform will do that in this case if you have defined the local exec and then some command that needs to be executed terraform will execute this but without creating any resources so here i have two null resource block so let's initialize this and let's generate a plan quickly just to show so this will show us that three resources will be created because we have three resource block i have to i have to change this uh, self object because uh, this is outside the uh, resource block so we'll have to explicitly call that resource here so in my case it would be like this so if this uh, provisional block was within the the resource block then the uh, self object would work but now since it is defined outside the self object will not work so let me quickly remove that and let's plan this once again and you can see this shows three to add so here one for the ec2 instance and the uh, other two for the null resources so terraform would still follow the same life cycle but it will not create any resource for this so let's apply this so terraform apply and i will auto approve this and so this will start executing the uh, uh, resource block that we have and like i said this will follow the uh, life cycle however this will not create any resources or it will not make any changes on the cloud platform and whatever the actions or the commands we have defined within the um, uh, null resource block terraform will still execute that so 
some of the use cases we have for this is whenever whenever you want to run some local commands or some scripts or uh, you want to run the local exec provisioner or the remote exec provisioner or the file provisioner then we can make use of your null resources for that um, we can also use this with the data source block uh, we can use this with the outputs block uh, to to uh, define our resources as null resources so here if you can see the instance was created and then uh, we have one of the null resource which executed the uh, local exec command and we have the other um, um, null resource local exec which executed the command and it has given as an id the id generated by terraform the id over here is the ec2 instance id and in this case we will have the files created so there's my uh, private IP which will store the private IP of the server and then here I have the public IPs.txt which contains the public IP of the server. So this is basically what your null resources are. So once again null resources will not create any resources but if you have defined any uh, actions that needs to be done some commands that needs to be executed Terraform will execute those commands and uh, Terraform follows the same resource lifecycle that it follows for all other resources that's all for this uh, session once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video